Hello my fellow freedom builders and welcome back to the channel. Now you might have noticed that the market is a bit nervous these days and um, we especially see the Nasdaq, the tech stock, is, uh, stocks are going down but there are plenty of good stocks out there to choose from and I'm going to show you six of them today. Now I'm also going to give you a quick glance at some of the stocks or at least or actually all of the stocks that I mentioned in my last video about some swing trading stocks because all of them have done phenomenally in this market. So uh, let's have a look at it. First of all, I might say that in this market, people are talking about crash and uh, correction and so on. Just remember that corrections are a normal part of the stock market. Five to 10% corrections are absolutely within the normal standard. And that will happen at least once or twice each year, sometimes even more. The correction, the nervousness right now, of course, is partially due to this interest rate a hike that is going on in the market and the Fed saying that they're not going to do anything about it just right now. So that of course is making the uh, the 10 year uh, yield go up meaning that the bonds are dropping but let's see I have a feeling that that will correct itself. The uh, vaccine is rolling out um, the many of the uh, of the commodities are going up and basically we are getting some okay numbers out of China, uh, they, are, they are producing more, they are exporting more, meaning that the rest of us are consuming. So I think the economy is overall actually quite fragile, but at least the next three to six months will be okay. That's my, uh, you could say my, my little prediction here. I'm not much into predictions, but let's have a look at some charts to see. First of all, the stocks that I mentioned in my last video. And let me just see here. I actually think that the Snitcher steel is from the video even before that one. But as you can see here, as I said down here, we had some great swing potential in the Snitcher steel and it has been going up, even though uh, many have been talking about corrections. The same goes for the API group. There has been some huge swings up and down in here, but again, an overall nice uptrend bouncing on the 20 SMA. And I'll just quickly go through them here so we can come to the actual uh, traits or uh, potential stocks for today. We have the Piper Sandler here. I mentioned that in my last video. Also a uh, very nice keeping the uptrend. We have the G3 apparel that I actually bought into my hype uh, swing trading stock selection. And as you can see here, that shows my own favorite uh, pattern here where we are seeing that the sellers are selling out several times at about the same level, but the buyers are getting more and more eager to get in. And when this line breaks, there usually is some very good upside here. So the G3, I'm very satisfied with that one. Oh yeah, the next year oil field um, that is really, really sprinting upwards. And I know some of you that wrote me where you got in uh, on this one and uh, have made quite a lot of money. It went up 14.5%, something like that, uh, Friday. Then we had the blue-green vacation sprinting upwards as well. And the DCP midstream has been a bit up and down, but overall uh, a bit, uh, a, a little win here. So let's have a look at some of the stocks of today. Now I should say that the stocks of today are not small cap uh, swing trade kind of stocks. It is more of a bit of a solid stock selection. And uh, the way I found them was I have this this little screener tool, or actually quite a large screener tool that um, my good friend and companion Jesper in the Danish subscription service has uh, produced. And uh, we are putting uh, the numbers in there every uh, weekend. And right now I simply chose the US stocks. Um, we don't have all US stocks, but we have quite a lot. I chose some high uh, Q score ranking stocks, meaning they have a high quality. Uh, they have produced some uh, good uh, increases in earnings and so on. They are solid stocks. I chose the relative strength of above 50. That's our own uh, market time special relative strength. And that uh, relative strength should also be in a good uptrend. It should be trending upwards. And uh, that is what this one indicates. I am choosing only stocks that are in a green zone on a weekly chart. I only want good trending stocks. 
and on a daily chart, they should all they should be above the 20, 50, and a 200 SMA. That leaves me with uh, 73 candidates that I have gone through one by one, and I have picked the six ones for you here. And um, yeah, if some of you are from Denmark and want to get a feel of this tool here, then there's a link below the video that uh, that you can uh, push and. Um, yeah, that leads you to the landing page telling you more about the subscription service. But let's get straight to the stocks of today. I'll not be uh, I'll, I'll not be slow here. We'll just have a, a 30 to 60 minutes for each stock so that we can get finished quickly. The market starts in about a minute. So let's see during the video here. We'll probably see how the market starts. First of all, JBHT, uh, the Hunt Transport Service, very nice uptrend on a weekly chart, bouncing nicely on a daily chart here. And uh, the RSI is showing the exact right pattern here. We can see the market just started. So let's see how that turns out during the video here. In Stogopedia, there's also a link to that below and to TradingView and to all the tools I'm using. We can see quite a nice uh, 74 in the overall stock range. PEC ratio only 1.1, meaning we are not paying too much for future growth. We can see the earnings per share is trending upwards. The free cash flow has been in a slump in 2018, but has been going up since. This paid out 0.7% in dividend and with a very nice dividend cover, they can easily pay their interest overall, a very strong and solid stock, which we should suspect when it is uh, above the 50, uh, sorry, above the five line here in our Q score in the market time special uh, software. Um, so JBHT, that is one. Uh, on to the next one. We have a Smith AO Corp here, uh, AOS in ticker symbol. And as you can see here, very nice uptrend as well. We have not uh, put in a regression channel here, but I'll just do that. As you can see, very nice in the regression channel. It's actually starting up 0.7% today. Very nice. Bouncing from the 20 SMA here. The RSI is showing the exact right pattern here. Bouncing way above the, the 50 line on the RSI. Some very good volume on Friday here where we went up. And um, if we look at it in here, the AOS here. Let's just have a look at it. 86 at the stock rank. 3.2 at the peg ratio, just at the high end, actually, if we were to, to invest in this one and the Petrosky score at five. Uh, when we're looking at the earnings per share, it's trending slowly, but it is upwards. We have some free cash flow that is going very nice upwards here. Um, the net debt is negative, And uh, then, of course, there's not really any interest to be paid. So overall, a very strong candidate as well. On to the next one. And that is Cigna Corporation. Uh, CI is the ticker symbol. A very nice uptrend here. It has been a bit wobbly here, but uh, come up had some very good uh, bounces, and you could actually kind of draw my um, favorite little formation here if we could do this something like this. Ah on a weekly chart. Let's see if we can get a hold of it here. You can see the sellers coming in around the 220, 225, and then we have broken up. And there uh, right now it's looking very, very good. In here in the Stockopedia, where we can easily get a hold on all the fundamental numbers here, we have a 77 on the stock rank, very nice. Peck ratio at an incredibly low 0.3 here. Uh, PE ratio at 11, meaning that you're getting a yield of something like 9% or something. That is very decent. Also, all the valuation part here, price to book value, 1.6. EV to EBITDA is very nice. Petrosky score at 7. This is a very nice stock. Look at the trend in the earnings per share here. 2020, a bit uh, below the trend, but otherwise the estimates for 21 and 22 are looking very good. Free cash flow going straight up. Um, yeah, what can I say? Net debt is dropping here. Some very good interest coverage. So uh, the Cigna, absolutely a stock I could consider for a bit of a long run investment. Three stocks to go and one of them is Advanced Auto Parts here. Now the stock is not quite as obvious here as uh, as you could say in, in the others. But what we do see is that it is slowly starting uh, at least to find some level here 
and you can see that it is trending upwards here. This is not the perfect formation. We did have a huge drop in the spring last year, and then it has been in a bit of a range lately. But I see it as a beginning uptrend, and there's some bounces on, on the 20 SMA here. If you are a bit more conservative, you could wait for a bit of an upturn, retracement down again, and then some strength here, and then you would get in around the 180 or 185, and that would absolutely also be a fine price to get in. But I think we'll see some upwards movement in it right now. If we are looking in it at, or at it at uh, Stockopedia here, we can see 82 at stock rank, so that's nice. Peck ratio 1.5, that is perfect. Um, a very good trend at the earnings per share. Petroski score at 6. Free cash flow, a bit up and down, but mostly up, so that is uh, quite nice. Paying out a little dividend with some nice dividend cover. As you know, I do not like to see uh, companies paying out dividend that they can't really cover. So it's okay to pay out dividend, but they need to have a lot of capital left to in with, invest with. So also here, the fundamentals are quite good. Now two left, and one of them is Caterpillar. And now look at this. I have been talking about this one for a while now. It has been in a absolutely fantastic uptrend. Let's see if we can draw it here. You can see here we have the regression channel at almost uh, 0 0.98 down here, meaning that it is extremely, uh, there's extremely little volatility here. You might say that it is in the top of the regression channel, shoot it down a bit. Now maybe it will see a little correction here. The level here, the green dotted line, is the three times ATR line. That is an indicator that is programmed by Peter in our uh, subscription group. A very nice tool he has made, meaning that also the ones with the free as a trading view subscription, they can get a lot of indicators in here. Normally you are limited, but here you can see you can put all sorts of, of simple moving averages and ATR stop loss levels and all sorts of stuff you can put in here and it only counts as one indicator. That is absolutely marvelous work of him. So Caterpillar, very nice uptrend, bouncing off the 20 SMA, some decent volume. Let's just have a look at CAT in here. Caterpillar, here it comes. 75 in the stock rank, quite nice. Peck ratio 1.3, just like we want to see it. We can see not such a good trend in the earnings per share here. It is trending up 2021-22, uh, 20, but it has uh, gone a bit down from 18 and 19. Free cash flow is trending up nicely here. And uh, yeah, well, overall, we can just see net debt is uh, quite neutral here, just going sideways and, uh, and okay, interest coverage. So Caterpillar, absolutely one of the candidates I am looking to get into my in my long-term uh, US portfolio. The last one today is Hartford Financials. And as you can see, it's actually going up a bit as well. Today, it is up with 0.8%, something like that. Nice trend here. You could draw a triangle down here and saying, yes, the sellers are getting more and more eager here, but so are the buyers. And at some point it breaks up, comes up here, takes a little retracement and going nicely up here. It is bouncing off its 20 SMA. The RSI is showing some great bounce off the 50 line here. So everything is just like I want to want it to be. And in here, the Hartford Financial Services, here it is. 86 at stock rank, perfect. PEC ratio 1.4, a PE ratio of only 9.7, that is very good. Uh, we can see a nice trend in the earnings per share. We can see a nice trend in the free cash flow. Everything is pretty much like we want it to be. So Hartford Financial Services, also a stock that I will consider putting in my US portfolio. I hope this gave a bit of inspiration to you. This is, of course, not financial advice. You need to do your own due diligence, your own digging down into the details. This is just a candidate list that you can get some inspiration from and that you can choose to work on for yourself with your own strategies and analysis tools. As I said, I'll put a link to, uh, to uh, both Stockopedia 
and to uh, TradingView and to my Danish subscription service below if any of you are from Denmark and would like to dive a bit deeper into the nice tools we have developed for our customers here. That's all for today. Remember to subscribe and like and all that jazz below and take care of yourself and your money out there. Bye for now.